How is it going guys? We've got some maintenance to do on the Tacoma today. I just recently picked up the truck and I have no idea when the last oil change was, so we're gonna do it just in case. Toyota recommends you do this every 5,000 miles or six months, whichever comes first. It's a pretty easy process. I'm gonna walk you through each step. Before you do do this, I recommend you warm up the engine a little bit just so you're able to get more of the oil out quicker, but don't leave it running for too long, otherwise it's gonna get too hot and you're gonna risk burning your hand when we remove the drain plug. First thing we're going to do is unscrew the oil cap and I'm going to set it right back on top here and this should help the oil flow out a little bit faster. Now we can go underneath the truck and remove the 14 millimeter drain plug. Obviously you want to make sure you've got an oil drain pan underneath to catch the old oil. Once that's done draining, we'll wipe down this area and then we can reinstall the plug with a new washer and we'll torque this down to 20 foot pounds. Once the drain plug is reinstalled, we can go back into the engine bay and we're gonna remove the oil filter. Now, if you take a look here, you'll see there's this uh, metal shield here and that basically catches the oil that comes out when you remove the oil filter and there is a drain underneath. So what you need to do is take some kind of container. I've got a Gatorade bottle here and I'm just gonna place that in there, make sure it's not going anywhere and that is going to catch any of the oil that comes out once I remove this. Before I install our new filter, I'm gonna wipe that area up. Now we can install our new oil filter. Now normally I would take a little bit of new oil and uh, lubricate this O-ring here, but this one comes already pre-lubed. This is just an OEM oil filter. So that will just thread right back on there. And you wanna make sure not to over tighten this. It just needs to be hand tightened. The one that was on here, the one that I took off was super tight. Someone probably tightened that with a wrench and it was a pain to get off. So just hand tight. Uh, otherwise you're gonna just make it harder on yourself later on down the road. Once you have that on there, we can remove the catch can underneath. And then I'm gonna wipe off that drain. And what you can actually do, I don't have any brake cleaner right now, but you can actually spray uh, that catch, uh, this shield right here with the brake clean while the catch can is still under there. And that'll help clean up any gunk that's in there and any leftover oil residue. Now we're gonna take the oil cap off and we're gonna use a funnel to refill the engine with new oil. Now my truck uses 5.5 quarts but you're gonna to wanna to take a look at your owner's manual just to be sure. I'm gonna start off with five quarts and then run the engine for a little bit, check the dipstick, and then add more if necessary. And that's all there is to it guys. Like I said, a really simple process. You don't need to lift the truck up. You can do this in your very own driveway. You just gotta make sure you've got the correct weight oil, uh, the correct filter and a new crush washer. If you guys are interested in doing this yourself, I will leave the products I use down in the description. If you guys have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.